our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Joaquin Numeza. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Well, no shortage of UFC history has been made inside these walls. Good to have you with us from Honda Center tonight here in Anaheim, California. So many big UFC live events in this family, DC. It's a great arena. It's a beautiful arena, but one that I would gladly never step foot in again. I may be the only guy to lose two UFC championships in this pit of hell that is called the Honda Center. So, fantastic arena. This does not work. there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, beautiful jab. He's hurt. He's hurt. So more output at least in the early going. Looking to land the right hand. He misses. Oh, big knee! Ooh, diving punch. We might get a stoppage here. Hyde right, opens the guard, now stacked guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. He let him step over to the crucifix. Lee getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. He's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Three minutes to go. Goes to the body there. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Oh, that looks like some head trauma. A beautiful combination. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively. Oh, no, look at that. He can't even stand. Oh, we're getting the finish here. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestle stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flow than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body, starting start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, a huge block there. He's bleeding heavily from the mouth right now. Can't imagine how good that must taste, but that cut on his lip is only getting worse by the minute. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, crippling uppercut. Under a minute now to go. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has come. Oh! Oh 
ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be playing. As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Lee gets back up again. Slams to the body there. Lee's mouth is just disgusting, unless you like these sort of things, but he is pouring blood right now. And I think the referee might call on the ringside physician. We might even get a stoppage here soon. 15 seconds to go. That is a damaging kick that land. Round two is next. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in Ready order fight. to make the cut worse. Ready. All right, round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to see that check. Oh! Changing the position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the shot. Oh, the triangle again. Oh, he's going to triangle slam. Oh, oh my God. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get sucked. Oh, and he's back up again. So he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more tight game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxing looks amazing right now. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. And it, it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Oh, big elbow. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Looks like someone took a red Sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to let down with What a fight. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to see. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Knee to the body. Nicely done. 
Well, he's got his back now. Beautiful transition. He flattens him out. This could be trouble. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Ground and pound strike there now. And now he's got the back. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Miss. Oh! Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and given this capacity.